Hey everybody, this is Buster Posey, and uh, this is a review on logarithms, chapter 7. Let's go ahead and begin. Uh, okay, so we're going to graph uh, this exponential equation here, y equals 1 half times 2 to the x plus 4 minus 3. All right, you can do it the book way, which I think sucks, you guys, or you can do it this way, what the student showed me, uh, is to uh, move the origin to the left 4 and down 3. Okay, this is always opposite, this is always the same. So I'm going to move the whole origin to the left 4 and down 3, and then I just graph. Now I don't need to worry about this extra stuff right here. Just graph 1 half times 2 to the x. And do your 0, 1 trick right here. And just pretend like this is 0, 0 from now on, okay? Even though this is 0, 0, this is going to be our pretend 0, 0, okay? So when x equals 0, 2 to the 0 is 1, so I get 1 half. When x equals 1, 2 to the 1 is 2. 1 half times 2 is 1, okay? So I'm going to graph those two points. So here's 0, a half. I just go up a half and then go over one, go up one, okay? Now I'm not sure, I'm pretty sure, actually I know what's gonna go on, but what I did was, is I did uh, x equals two, you guys. When x equals two, two squared is four, one half times four is two. So if I go over two, it goes up two, and that gave me a really good picture right there. Now I know I didn't say in the directions, and I wished I did. Let's pretend like I did. State the domain and range. The domain is how far does it go to the left? It goes to the left forever, and it goes to the right forever. And how far does it go up and down? It goes up forever, but it bottoms out at y equals negative 3. So y is greater than negative 3 would be my range. So my domain is x equals all reals. Range is y is greater than or equal to negative 3. Okay, here's another one. 3 times 1 third to the x minus 3 power plus 2. Okay, I'm going to shift this to the right 3 up 2. All right, and then I'm going to graph just y equals 3 times 1 third to the x and do my 0, 1 thing. When x equals 0, 1 third to the 0 is 1, so I get 3, 3 times 1. When x equals 1, I get 1 third, 3 times a third is 1. So I'm going to go 0, 3, put a point right there, and then over 1, up 1 from right there, and that's going to give me two points right there. There's my graph, and there's my domain and range. Okay? Okay, this one here, okay, so it's an E, big deal. We have calculators to do this. So I'm going to shift it first to the left one, down four, okay? To the left one, down four. All right, and then I did my zero, one trick, and I just pick, and I did y equals e to the negative 2x, and I just plug, plugged them in my calculator, you guys. Well, zero, e to the zero is one. And when I did one, e times e to the negative two, I just pr pressed my e to the x button, and then punched in negative 2, execute, and it gave me 0.135. That's close to 0, okay? That gives me a general idea what my graph's going to look like, okay? And there's my domain and range, okay? Easy enough. All right, so evaluate all of these guys right here. So pause it right here. Okay, number 2, uh, just change uh, these to base 2. Base two. Yeah, this is 2 to the 7th right here. So if this ba these numbers match up, then this is my blah, blah rule. Remember, if these numbers match up, it's whatever that is right there. Okay, so right here, I'm going to going to change that 625 to 5 to the 4th, so it's 1 over 5 to the 4th, which is 5 to the negative 4, so the, the answer is negative 4, blah, blah. Okay, if there's no number here, it's understood to be 10. This is 10 to the 5th right here, so that's 5, blah, blah. Okay, this one i got to do a little bit more work on. I'm going to let it be x right there, and then I'm going to say this base over here to this power equals 8 root 2. That's 2 squared. That's 2 cubed. That's 2 to the 1 half. Remember what I said about changing them all to the same base in, in less than, I think it was 7, 1 or something like that. Maybe a 7, 3 or I don't know. Anyways, so change them all to base 2s, you guys. So, so this is uh, 2 squared. So 2 squared to the x. This is 2 to, here's my 8 right here, and here's my square root of 2. This is 2 to the 1 half. Remember, there's an understood exponent of 1, and if the radical doesn't have an index, it's understood to be 2. So this is 2 to the 1 half half. Okay, so I add these. 3 plus 1 half is a 3 and a half, or 6 halves plus 1 half, which is, I, in either case, I get 7 halves, you guys. So then that means 2x equals 7 halves. And then some kids are wondering, how do I get from here to here? I multiply both sides by a half. This side's times a half, this side's times a half, and I get the 7 fourths. Alrighty? Okay, so expand. Okay, remember, 5 times uh, the cube root of x means I'm going to uh, separate them with different logarithms with the plus sign in it. And this being over is going to be minus this one right here. Okay, so there's the first step. Uh, I, did, uh, I separated these guys since it's being multiplied. It's understood to be multiplied, so it's going to be separated with each separate logarithm with a plus. And this division means a minus right here. And then um, this is x to the one-third power. And this one-third power comes out in front right here. And similarly, this 4 comes out in front right there. Alrighty? Okay, this dude right here. 
Okay, I'm going to condense these. I'm going to combine these two guys with the multiplication symbol, but this 3 is going to be 4 to the 3rd. It's going to come up as the exponent, and this 3 right here slides down underneath it. All right, so when it cleans all up, uh, 4 to the 3rd is 64 times 9 divided by 3, and it comes out to be the natural log of 192. Remember, natural log is base E, so there's a little imaginary base E right there. All right. All right, so solve. Okay, so now I'm going to, on this one, I'm going to log both sides. Whenever you have the x and the exponent, I'm going to log both sides. And I'm going to log base 7 of both sides because it's being 7 to the x. And then log base 7, I can use my blah blah rule and say x equals log base 7 of 12. Okay, now it depends on if they want a calculator ready answer or if they want the actual decimal. Use your change of base formulas, change them into both base 10, log of 12 over log of 7, and you get about 1.277. Okay, uh, this one. Okay, on this one, I'm going to go this base over here, this 2 to this power over here, equals this stuff right here. 2 to the 5th equals 3x minus uh, th uh, 7, and then you end up getting x equals 13. All right, now, if you're in my Algebra 2 class, I would assign this as your homework.